Hello, my old school soul food family. Let me cut these windshield wipers off. Welcome back to another video, y'all. I forgot where I was. I forgot how I started my videos. Anyway, it's cruise day. Ain't it a beautiful day for a cruise? Look at this. It's raining and overclass, but I don't care. I don't care if it was freezing. I'm about to go on a cruise, y'all. I'm happy. I got my, look at that. I got my cruise hat on. I ain't got it on. Look at my cruise hat. I'm ready, y'all. I'm about to get on this carnival breeze and I'm about to sail away for five days to Cozumel and uh, Costa Maya. I'm going to take y'all along with me, do a little vlogging here. I'm on the freeway right here on 45 South, headed to Galveston. I'm about 10 minutes out of Galveston. And uh, I'm trying to give y'all the beginning to end because a lot of people never cruised before. I'm trying to make it as simple as possible. What I'm going to first do, it's about almost 11 o'clock. I don't bust to check in until 1.30. Of course, you can get on your cruise a little bit earlier than that. Um, but I get on late because I'm not going to get on a cruise ship and walking around. Of course, I'm going to drop my luggage off, but I ain't going to be walking around with my backpack waiting till the cruise cabin open or whatever. I like to get on the ship at 1.30, go straight to my cabin, unload everything, my backpack and everything, unpack everything, then I go to the buffet and do what I want. That's my personal thing. I don't like to be logging around nothing on a cruise ship. Some people get on the ship 10, 11 o'clock and they can't get in the cabin till later on. I don't know why. That's just a thing. I guess you just like to be on the ship. But anyway, what I'm going to do, once I get to Galveston, get there probably about 11. I don't want to get on the cruise to 1.30. I'm going to go drop my luggage off already. I travel light. I just got one suitcase. I'll drop it off. You drop it off at the porter right there. They got the white shirts on. And you just go to the right. Carnival Cruise Line. Tell me Carnival Breeze. Everything. You got to make sure you got the luggage hanging already on there. And usually your luggage will be at the room already when you get on the ship. But that's the first thing I do. And you tip them a couple of bucks. I tip no less than $5, y'all. Y'all know where I'm cheap. Even in Las Vegas, you know girl, I tip no less than $5. I don't care if a guy, I'm taking my bags for the hole while I'm on the strip. And I'm going to pick the bags up later. I tip no, late, no less than $5. Because people remember you. If you tip good, this is what is inside information in the, in the uh, service industry. I've been in the service industry all my life. If you tip good, these people remember you and they're going to take care of you, whatever they're doing for you. That's a little FYI for y'all. Y'all people that don't tip and be cheap, y'all going to get your bad service. I'm telling you, I know how the service industry is. I've been in it all my life, so just letting you know. But anyway, I'll drop my luggage off, and then I'll uh, go have me some lunch or whatever, hang out, and then I'll come back, and i already have my car registered, uh, car parking registry for carnival so i'll go park my car and they have a shuttle and they'll show you off and drop you off right in the front of the in front of the cruise line i'll show y'all that also so i already pre-registered my parking everything's already everything's paid for and like i told y'all this cruise is free for me what it how is it free for me i use my american spread perks so y'all will see i have a cheap cabin i got two other cruises this year which I got a balcony and all that. For this cruise, I'm going low key. I ain't paying a dime for it. I got the regular room, no view, which I love the no view room because I sleep better. I can turn them lights off. It's completely dark and I can sleep so good in those rooms. So that's another reason I like those uh, uh, cheap cabins. I'm on the first level. I ain't gonna worry about catching no elevators, none of this. It's gonna be an easy cruise for me this week, y'all. Ain't gonna worry about catching elevators to the ninth level, eighth level, sixth level, no. I'm on the first level. I can walk right in there and walk right into my floor. So that's a good thing. So anyway, I'll be back once I get into Galveston and we go to go drop off uh, uh, my luggage and we'll take y'all along from day one all the way to day five. So y'all sit back. I'm excited. I'm going. My first cruise of the year is March. I got one in July and I got one in October. So I'm cruising this year. So anyway, y'all, I'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are into Galveston here. We about to go over the causeway here. And if you're playing along at home, never been in the cruise and never came to Galveston, whatever, what you gonna do, you gonna, once you go over the causeway, you gonna exit Harbor Shore, Harbor Shore Drive. And you gonna turn left, go under the uh, freeway. Right, see what it said, Harbor Shore Drive, one mile, one and a half miles right there. That's what you gonna take. It's gonna take you right to the cruise line. Very simple, very easy maneuver. You ain't gotta put a GPS on there, y'all. So, oh, the sun's coming out. Look at that. The sunroof there. Sun, coming through the sunroof. I don't care if the sun's out, if it's snowing or whatever. We going on a cruise. We going to the Caribbean. So, it ain't, it's not, it's not cold in the Caribbean. It's 80 degrees right now in, in Cozumel today. If we were there. 
there. So yeah, but like I say, we're going over the causeway right here. And once you get over the causeway, uh, you're gonna exit, you get in the right lane right here. You're gonna ride, ride on over to the causeway and you're gonna exit Harbourshire Drive. Once you get on Harbourshire Drive, you're gonna go left under the freeway and you're gonna take you, you stay on Harbourshire Drive. It's like a mile and a half drive on Harbourshire Drive, take you right to the cruise line. They take you, to, they got a carnival, gonna be the first one that you get to, and the next one is Royal Caribbean. They got two cruise lines right on Harbourshire Drive. So that's a little, uh, little tip for y'all that's coming in, never been to Galveston, never went on the carnival or Royal Caribbean cruise, and wondering how hard and difficult it is to get there. It's easy, y'all, very easy. So anyway, this exit right here, let me show y'all here before I log off here. Windshield wipers. It's just raining where you need the windshield wiper one minute and then you don't need them the next minute. So that's what it is. So, anyway, this car gets in front of me. You're going to block the sign up there that say Harbor Shore. See, they say Harbor Shore Drive up there. Harbor Shore Drive. You're going to exit right here, right off the causeway. And you're going to go left on the freeway and you just follow that road and take you all the way to the Carnival or the Royal Caribbean. But I'm going Carnival. I'm riding on the Carnival Breeze today. So, anyway, I'll be back once I get to the cruise line where I drop off my luggage. That's what I'm doing right now. Once I drop off the luggage, I'm going to eat me some lunch somewhere here on the island. And then I'm going to go back and drop off my car. And then we're going to board the ship. And then we'll take you to first thing you there. So anyway, cruising this week, y'all. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. We back. Y'all see the breeze right there. See that cruise ship right there? That's my destination of choice this week, y'all. And I'm going to put my microphone on later. And this here while I'm on the park later. See what it got waving them in? I'm gonna, I'll show y'all that later, though, when I come back from lunch. But my main focus right now is to get in here. See that breeze? See the breeze right there, y'all? Yes, sir. That's the destination of choice. I'm going to go drop my luggage out. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. I'm in line here to drop off my luggage. You can see it say breeze. Y'all can't see that. They give you the sign. That's the name of my cruise ship, Carnival Breeze. And this is what you can just give me, just follow directions and you're gonna go over here and you're gonna drop off your luggage. Some people carry their luggage, like I say, some people carry their luggage on. Only thing I carry on is my backpack. And I ain't carrying, I ain't been hauling no luggage on that ship. Especially this right now, it's uh, 11.18. I don't have to board check in to 11.30. And the, the rooms are usually not open until 1.30. I don't have to check in to 1.30, did I say that? And uh, like I say, the rooms usually not like cabins, or whatever they call them, are not open till usually 1.30, 2 o'clock. And I'm not going to be hauling no luggage on no ship, y'all. So, yeah, so anyway, let me go up in here and uh, pick off my luggage here. And I'll see you right here. You can get in line here. You can see the guys in the little flowery shirts, Cruise Terminal 25. Right here, y'all. And they just... They just follow you along just like this. And I'm going to drop here and uh, drop out. See the people in the flowery shirt. They pick your luggage up. You tip them nicely and your luggage will be in your room when you get there. So anyway, I'll be that and I'll give you right back once I drop my luggage off. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. I just checked out my... Checked out. I just dropped out my luggage. And y'all, it just pouring down raining when I got to drop it off. I didn't even drop it off in one of the uh, shirt guys. I actually dropped it off at one of the security guys. He's going to put it on the, the shirt guys. Ain't it? I guess they didn't want to get soaked. But anyway, it is 11.30. Let's see what time it is. It is 11.28, 11.30. And I'm supposed to go and get me some lunch. Because I don't have to, like I said, I don't have to check in my uh, I don't have to check in until 1.30. So I'm going to eat me some lunch here. And just hang out a little bit. It's stress-free. I ain't got to carry no luggage. And uh, that's how I do it. Get here early, drop all that stuff off, and uh, go eat some lunch. And I'll come back in about an hour and a half and uh, catch the shuttle at 1 o'clock. It'll drop me off. It takes them five minutes to get there. And I'll be right on schedule. So anyway, y'all, we'll be back once I get to, to the shuttle. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. I'm going to put my microphone on later on, y'all, when I get inside the cruise terminal. But, yeah, I'm back. It's about 12.30, and I'm about to go park here and catch the shuttle over to the to the ship. And I always park right here, y'all. Indoor cruise parking, even though I park parkparking.com, whatever the name of it. I always park right here. And they got indoor and outdoor. I always use the outdoor one. Uh, 
doesn't matter for me. Yeah, outdoor is better for me. I'm in and out. But I always use the port parking right here on 37th and uh, Harbor Shore Drive. This is the one I always use. And they'll take you, like I said, you park right there in the back over there where I park outside. And it'll shuttle you right over there to the breeze right there. See the breeze right up in front of us, y'all? Look at that. So anyway, I'll be back once I get on the shuttle. We'll be back. All right, y'all. We're about to check in. This is the check-in line right here. Let me zoom out here. Check in line right here. Easy but sleazy. Well, I'm a little early, but they say I can come on in, so it's pretty smooth today, even though the ship is packed. The ship is what they call it full, that capacity. It'll look a little smoother than it was before on Carnival. So Carnival's gotten a lot better on the check-in process. So anyway, I'll be in once I get inside there. Organized chaos, y'all. Organized chaos. Look at it. It's not as packed as I've seen it before when I came on the cruise. But look at this. Check this out, y'all. Check this out. Everybody getting it going. So anyway, we'll be back. All right, y'all. Here we go. There's the breeze. Can y'all see it? We're on the gangway here. We're about to get on the ship, y'all. The ship here. All right. Here we go. Let the pond begin. Look at this, y'all. Look at this, y'all. Look at this, y'all. Oh, yeah. They ready. They ready. Look at this, y'all. Ooh, y'all. Absolutely. Absolutely, y'all. Look at this, y'all. Look at that, y'all. Everybody ready to party. I'm back. Anyway, y'all, we'll be back once I get to my room. All right, y'all, I forgot. You got to do the monster. See the monster drill? I'm at E3, which is helping to be at the back of the ship. So that's what I'm going to do now. That's what you got to do when you first get on the ship. Everybody knows that. You got to do the monster drill because they will not leave without you doing your monster drill. So once I do that, then I get in my room, cabin, and I'll... Be back in. We'll be back. All right, y'all. We are in my little cabin here. Like I told y'all, it ain't much to it because it's just a little bit on cabinet. It's just enough to sleep and watch some TV if I want to. Got a king size bed, mirror, TV. Got your closets here. And no, my luggage hasn't made it yet. Got a big closet there. Got your life jackets. I like Carnival because they have a life jacket already here. I like that. You got your closet there. And then your bathroom, normal bathroom. Only thing I hate about Carnival, y'all, has the plastic curtains. And they don't have the glass. But it is what it is. Mirrors, stuff to put your stuff at. Toilet. Just very simple. Nothing fancy. Like I say, I got it. I use it by my, my, uh, my perks. American Express perks. So, yeah, I got some stuff here. I got some Pepsi. I got some popcorn. I got some little cookies there. You know, all ahead of time. These cookies are amazing. These little cherry top cookies. Y'all never tried them? Absolutely amazing. So anyway, y'all, that's it. And I'll join y'all later live on the Lido deck when we do the Sellaway party. So anyway, we'll be back. All right, y'all, we at the Sellaway party. Just landing out here. Everybody got the Sellaway party right here. I'm trying to talk over there. I'm trying to talk over there. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, y'all. Look at y'all. I'm going to try to talk over the cover of the music here. Right, so let's but it's a celebrate party let's going on right now. Let's show y'all a little of that. Turn it As we go in here, let's give y'all a little tour inside in here. We got the guys. I already had a guy told me I didn't put it online. But I already had one, so that's one already. So look what you got here. That's the burger man making the burgers right there. We got homemade burgers. got fries right there. Look at the line. Got a line that way. Got a line this way. And usually they have the toppings right here. I guess tomorrow they'll put the toppings right here with the lettuce and mushroom. But look at that line right there, y'all. Look at the line right here. We're going to go into the Lido deck buffet marketplace here. And the buffet is closed right now because we between lunch and dinner right now. The only thing open is the burgers, the pizza, and the sandwiches like hot dogs and uh, hot dogs and uh, Sandwiches, you know, like Rubens or whatever. And this line right here is for the, you know, it's for the ice cream. It's going to be the most popular line right here, the ice cream machine. 
it's been busy ever since we got on deck today. But, the, but like I said, the buffet is closed right now. But later on, I'm going to show y'all. Come through here tonight. I got dinner reservations. My dinner reservations open 530. The, uh, how about them cowboys? <laughs> All right. 530 to uh, uh, 9 o'clock. So I got a open, big window when I go to dinner. So I'll probably go by 630 and have dinner by 630. That's what I like to do. So uh, then I'll hit the buffet after that. But, the, but like I said, the buffet is closed right now. But let's go on this side here to the back side where the pizza is. But anyway, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. All right, y'all, we're going on the other side of the ship. And we're just going to eat dinner. And uh, I guess I eat dinner at 6, like I told you, 6.30. It's, mine's open between 5.30 and 8 o'clock. So it's about... 6 11 right now. I just took a whole people nap. It seemed like I slept for five minutes. And I slept for about an hour and ten minutes. That's how often it is to sleep on these ships, y'all. Feels so good. So anyway, I'm on the way to dinner. And I'll be back once I get into the restaurant. And we'll see what they got, daughter. We'll be right back. Alright, y'all, we back. I don't know if this will come up on the phone. I'm looking at the menu for the night. And I already know what I might want. Look at the Papa Deli with the braised lamb. That sounds good. And then we got the... I love the braised short rib. That sounds good for entree. And then... The dessert. You got to get the Carnival Melting Chocolate Cake, y'all. That's the best thing on the menu. Y'all know I love the Carnival Smoking Chocolate Cake. I think that's what I'm going to eat tonight. So anyway, we'll be back once we get in the restaurant. Y'all, we are finally in the restaurant here. And uh, this thing is packed. I had to wait 20 minutes. You really don't take that long to have to wait to get a table. But it's packed the first day, and I never eat in the restaurant on the first day. And now I know why. I should be packed. But anyway, I'll be back. I already told y'all what I pretty much want to eat. My lamb for appetizer. Short ribs for entree and then uh, chocolate triple cake for dessert. So we'll be back as these things come along. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we got our bread here already with the butter. Like I say, I ordered the uh, lamb appetizer. I also ordered the crawfish uh, appetizer. And I ordered the uh, braised short ribs and the chocolate cake. So that's the four items I ordered, so we'll see it when we get here. All right, y'all, we are back here. I hope this microphone's still on, but that's the lamb, papadale. And this is the crawfish, like, I forgot what the name of it. I'll know by the time I edit this video. Now, that's crawfish in the middle of this, and they got the papadale with the lamb. And then, like I said, I got br a braised beef short ribs coming and chocolate supper cake. So... Check that out, y'all. So anyway, we'll okay, y'all, we back here. The crawfish, that was crawfish in the uh, filo shell. It was absolutely amazing. I'll tell y'all about that when I get out of here. But this the braised beef shank. Beef shank, yeah. And it got some sitting on some potatoes and some particle birds, which is French beans, which is baby green beans. And this looks absolutely amazing. And the papadale with the... Uh, with the lamb was okay. I wouldn't order it again if I had to. It was all right, but it wasn't what I was expecting. But yeah, this is the beef tank right here with the mashed potatoes and green beans. We'll be right back. Uh, y'all know this is my favorite right here. Carnival Cruise special right here, y'all. Chocolate molten lava cake with ice cream on there. Y'all know I might have this twice this week. I'm going to try not to eat more than one than twice this week, but... I'll give y'all opinion on the dinner right after I finish this up and we get outside. All right? We'll be right back. Yeah, you just got out of dinner. Let y'all look at the Gulf of Mexico right here. But yeah, dinner was all right. Like I say, the crawfish and the filo was good. The papadale with the lamb was so so. I didn't like that too well. The braised short rib was good. It was just a little bit too fatty. And I love fat. But they had a little bit too many much fat on the braised short rib. And then the chocolate shrimp cake was good. Yeah, but I don't think I'm going to eat no more chocolate for the week. I think I got my chocolate fix for the week. So, anyway, we're going to hang around here and see what else we can get into tonight. If I don't come back tonight anyway, I'll see y'all at brunch in the morning. We'll do the C-Day brunch. So, anyway, day one, y'all. 
or the half a day, day two is tomorrow. So anyway, we'll be back. If I don't, like I said, if I don't be back tonight, we'll be back in the morning for see day brunch. All right, y'all, let me show y'all something here. Y'all see how rough these seas are out here? This is something I've never seen before. They actually drain the pool, y'all. Let me show y'all here. Because the pool, I, I told y'all this morning how the pool was splashed the water. But they actually drained it. So there's no water in the pool. See that? The pool is empty because it's just so, it, right now, it's just so, uh, seas are so rough and choppy. This is the second day. A lot of people, I've never seen it before like this. But it doesn't bother me. Like I said, I like to sit rocking and rolling. I sleep better like that. But a lot of people do this and make some to make some grow up and all that but yeah but anyway i just want to show y'all that i didn't do the sea day brunch today because i might do it the last sea day we have the reason i didn't do it because the sea day brunch and the buffet had the same items on it and i didn't even record the buffet so when i come back recording it'll probably be either guy's burger or it'll be the italian restaurant on the level deck so yeah, and then maybe I'll do the buffet tomorrow or what. We're going to sell uh, court at uh, court. Yeah, I guess the court. I guess that's what you call it. The Costa Maya tomorrow, and I'll get off and do a little footage of that. I ain't going to do too much on man tomorrow as well. That's when you get as many guys burger as you want. When, they, when the ship, of course, because nobody's on the ship. Everybody's out on, this, on land. You got all this free run to yourself. But anyway, y'all, we'll be back. When I come back, we'll probably be in the Italian restaurant, so on a level deck. We'll be back. All right, y'all, this guy's burger number two since I've been here. My record is seven, so I'm going to see if I can get eight. It's only day two. I think I'm pacing myself. I'm going to have to do a couple of them today, but, yep, yeah, sitting out here on the Lido deck, had me a guy's burger, and then when I finish this, in about an hour later, I'm going to eat me some pasta from the pasta restaurant. So, anyway, y'all probably can barely hear me, but I'm going to enjoy my burger, and we'll be back. Alright y'all, we in the back of the ship here. What you gonna do? You're gonna take the elevator to the to get to the Captain Capitino. Whatever it's called. You know what? You can go up the stairs. I'm gonna go up the stairs right here, y'all. It's the 11th floor. Back of the ship. From 12 to 2.30 p.m. You get to go in this Italian restaurant right here. And Cappuccino Capitano. And you got your cup and menu. Look at that. 12 to 2.30 p.m. And at nighttime, they charge. And they make their own pasta for you. So it's right here. Back of the ship. Cappuccino Capitano. So however you say that. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. Give you a pencil. And you just pick what you want here. Your pasta. What sauce you want, what kind of toppings you want on there, any extras. And your lasagna, your lasagna is amazing, y'all. I'm telling you, I love the lasagna here on the on the, on the Carnival Cruise. So, I probably get a half a portion of uh, the penny pasta with probably Alfredo on there and a little, I don't know. But I got to get the lasagna too. So, anyway, y'all, we'll be back and I'll let you know what I got. I'm going to get me a uh, penny pasta, half a portion of penny pasta with the Alfredo, the garlic shrimp on there, and I got to get the lasagna. Lasagna is amazing. So that's it. So we'll be back once my order comes. And like I said, y'all, a little bit of restaurant in here. A lot of people don't know about it. It's hidden here at the back. But like I said, it's free in the daytime from 12 to 2.30 p.m. Every day for lunch, so we got, right, I got my penny pasta with the Alfredo. Look at that, it's a half portion because I got lasagna coming as well. Look at that nice pasta, absolutely amazing, huh? So, anyway, we'll be back once my lasagna get here. Oh, y'all hear my lasagna? Y'all know I'm a big fan of lasagna here in the corner of a cruise. I'm gonna see if it's still as good as I remember. Here's the pasta here. I'm trying to eat as much as I can. So I'm going to dig into the lasagna and we'll be back. Good morning, my old school soul food family. It is day two. I'm out here on the Lido deck here and uh, about to eat me some breakfast. And this is what I do. I'm going to kind of take y'all through this today. I ain't going to do this every day. My routine of eating. 
first thing I'm doing, I'm going to go down here and give me a taco from the, what is this taco? I call it a taco stand. It ain't what it's called. It's not called a taco stand. It's called a blue iguana. I give me a taco there. And then I'll, because uh, it's 6 o'clock in the morning. It's almost 7 o'clock, y'all. And Then I'll go do my C-Day brunch. Get a ice cup light in there. I'll come back in here, y'all. And I might go to the buffet table and see, buffet and see what they got. Y'all see that beautiful blue water out there? And I'll go through the buffet and kind of see what they got. Maybe I'll get some danishes or something. And then I'll hang around the ship, do see what they got hanging on around or whatever. And then at 12 o'clock on at the Italian restaurant on the level, on the level, 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 a floor, however they want deck, deck, that's how they say it on the ship. They have the Italian restaurant that make your own pasta. It charges at night, but in the daytime, a lot of people don't know, but between 12 and 2.30 p.m., it's free. A lot of people, it's on the 11th deck. And I'm going to show y'all that you go in there and you, they, you just give you a paper and you tell them how you want your pasta and they cook it really, really fresh for you. Bring it to your table with some nice bread and a salad. It's amazing. But at night, they charge in there, but in the daytime, for two and a half hours, it's free. So I'm going to go do that today. Probably come back down to the buffet. Got to have me a guy's burger today. And, of course, dinner tonight. So that's all the eating I'm going to do today. But I'm going to show y'all pretty much today. So I don't have to show you every day the, the, uh, the, uh, how I do it. And then guys, burgers, yesterday the setup was different. They didn't have the toppings out there. Let me go out here and show y'all right quick here. So y'all know what I'm talking about. And I didn't even show y'all the guys' burger yesterday. Because I put my camera down in the room, y'all, and she just kind of hung out yesterday. We can walk down this, this stairs here. Well, see, you got the blue iguana right here. It's going to open up at 7 o'clock. They got all the toppings right here that you need. And like I say, and I always get my burrito or whatever. I don't know what I'm, how I'm going to do it this year. but. And then let me show you here the guy's burgers over here. The way it's set up. <laughs> They usually put the toppings out here. But yesterday they didn't have that. You got all your toppings sit out here. And then your mustard and mayonnaise and all that right here. But they didn't have that. They had you going over there trying to squirt the muffin, muffins, the toppings and stuff out there. So I don't know how, I don't know if that's because it was the first day or what. So anyway, I'll be back once I get my taco from the Blue Iguana. We'll be right back. I'm going to try to get some footage of the buffet, y'all, before it opens. They got pancakes, they got potatoes, they got sausage, they got ham, they got eggs, Benedict, scrambled eggs. Look now, you got boiled eggs there. And you got fruit over there, y'all. So, yeah, I'm trying to get a little before they come in here and mess it all up. But the buffet, I think it opens at 7.30 in here. But like I said, I'll come in here afterwards. After I, uh, couple of the sea day brunch i might grab some danish or whatever you can see right here they got fruit up behind there and then they got the yogurts here all this kind of yogurt got fruit and you got the cereal right here i'm getting behind the scenes y'all and then they got a place in here for the uh for the pastries as well i think this is the omelet station here is it that's that pastries right in there I don't want to move this stuff around, but let y'all kind of let y'all kind of see. But anyway, I'm going over here, y'all, get my taco, my burrito. They got breakfast, and they got cereal here too, y'all. So anyway, we'll be back. Yeah, y'all, this is where you get your danishes at right here. They open this up really, really early for people that's really, really starving from the night before. So you got your little danishes right there. You got your fruits over here. We got prunes. I don't understand prunes on a cruise ship. I just don't get it. Uh, <laughs> uh, fruit. Hey, how you doing? Then you have your, I don't know who eat ham cold cuts for breakfast, but they have that here as well. Got the cold cuts here as well. So, yeah. So, anyway, we'll be back. All right, y'all. Look at this here. I'm ready here. I'm going to get my tacos right there. See, they got them already made with the chicken and the meat already on them. And I go over there and get my toppings right there and put on it. And I'll be set. I'll be good to go. So anyway, y'all, 
We will be right back. Got my table over there. Hopefully, ain't nobody move my stuff. And uh, we'll be back. All right, y'all. It is dinner time. I checked in. It's also elegant night. I guess the second night on the ship is elegant night. Got people all dressed up in their nice suits and dresses and all that, taking pictures, eating, walking around the ship. Got people up there. No, I don't think I don't not participate in the elegant night, y'all. So anyway, I'll be back once I get in the dining room. We'll see what we're gonna eat today. I think it's gonna be shrimp cocktail, it's probably vegetable lasagna, and uh creme brulee tonight. So I'll let you know. All right, y'all, we are in the dining room, like I told y'all. I am gonna probably have the shrimp cocktail. I'm gonna adjust camera, cut just there. Shrimp cocktail. And the entree, probably the real crab shrimp. Uh real shrimp and crab cake. And for dessert, probably the creme brulee. Y'all know I love creme brulee. So that's probably what I'm gonna get. I'm here at what time is it? I'm on six o'clock. Six o'clock dining time. So they got a lot of stuff going on. They got a deal or no deal tonight in the uh, Ampli uh, Ovation Theater, and they got my favorite uh, thing on the cruise, which is love and marriage. So I'll be recording a little clips of that later on. But I'll be back once my first uh, first course comes. We'll be back. All right, y'all. The shrimp cocktail is here. I already, I've had shrimp cocktail here many times. Very good. I only got one appetizer tonight, y'all, because I have had two guys' burgers a day and a big lunch, so I'm going to eat as light as I can for dinner tonight. So we'll be right back once the uh, entree comes. What do y'all want to put on to? Oh, the shrimp cake. And creme brulee for dessert, so we'll be back. All right, y'all, here's the entree. Got the grilled shrimp there. Seafood cake. A fish cake, a mashed potato, a little broccoli there. I don't know what kind of sauce that is, but this looks absolutely amazing, to be honest. It looks very good, so I'll let you know once I get out of here. But I got the creme brulee for dessert, so it looks pretty good. So it's been a double shrimp. I had shrimp cocktail, now shrimp for entree, and had shrimp for lunch, and the shrimp kind of day, y'all. Hold it back. Okay, y'all, creme brulee is here. Let's see if they got that top. You can hear that. You probably can't hear that, but you can hear that. But I love me a creme brulee anywhere I go. I know the best creme brulee I've tasted was in Las Vegas. But anyway, I'm going to eat this, and this is day two, y'all. I got three more dinners to eat in here. So anyway, we'll be back. Probably when I come back, it will probably be a deal or no deal. I'll show you a little of that show. And then uh, uh, Love and Marriage show. And that's what we got planned for tonight. Tomorrow we'll be in Costa Maya. And we dock at 1.30. And we both be back at 7.30 on the ship. And the day after that is uh, Cozumel. So we got two days down and three to go. Be back. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you're who's going to come out with that energy now? If you're really ready for a deal or no, just say, yeah. yeah. Now, please welcome to the stage your amazing cruise director. Here comes Lawrence. What up, what up, what up, party people? Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Ovation Theater. I hope you're excited. Are you having a good cruise so far? If you are, make a little noise for me, yes? I'm very glad you're here, everybody. You are here to win money and take the banker for everything he's got, so I need your help. So the first thing you need to do, Justin, is you need to pick the suitcase. Bree's family, which suitcase should he pick? Which one do you think? All right, y'all, we here getting ready for the love and marriage show. This thing is so funny, y'all. So this one, the highlights of my cruise is just one particular show. If you've never seen it, and you ever on the Carnival Cruise, even Royal Caribbean has it, you need to check it out. It's an awesome show. So, mostly adult, so it's not something for kids, mostly for adults. So anyway, we'll be back once you get started, and I'll show you a clip of it. We'll be back. Excellent. I'm so glad you're all here. Hello. I have a question. Have you enjoyed your cruise so far? Are you having a good time? Yeah? Wonderful. Great to hear. I'm your cruise director. My name is Lawrence. Everybody say, hey, Lawrence. Hey, Lawrence. Hello, family. I bow uh, by round of applause. Who's ever seen the Love and Marriage show? Anybody? Yeah. 
A round of applause, who has no idea what the hell is going on right now? Anybody? <laughs> Alright y'all, we just got off the ship here. This is Carnival Breeze here. This is uh, No Ease and Joy. It's a carnival up here. I don't know which one this one is, y'all. It's Carnival. I don't know which carnival. Oh, Jubilee. Hello, Jeffrey. Jubilee, right there. See that? Says Jubilee. That's Carnival Jubilee. So they got three ships in port today. Y'all, it's about 90 degrees out here. I think Houston area right now is like 64. I think Arlington is about 60. <laughs> I thought I wanted a warmer weather, but you can be careful what you wish for, huh? So anyway, y'all, we'll be back. See all these people, like I said, you got three ships in port in one day. That means there's a lot of people. Look at all those people right there. People here. People there. So anyway. We'll be back once we get down that long pier. See that long pier? You gotta walk that whole long pier right there. So, I've been getting in shape. Y'all know I was in Austin the other day doing that long hike. So, I ain't do a video of that either. But y'all, I did a long hike three miles in Austin last week. So, get in shape for this. So, anyway, y'all, we'll be back once we get to the end of that pier. Y'all see how packed this fort is? Look at this, y'all. It's just packed up in here. All these people in the street, like I say, it's three ships at port today. And close, close to my excites me. Like Cozumel. Cozumel don't really excite me either, but it's bigger than close to my more stuff to do. And it's not as compact. You can spread out. There's more shops and things to, to look at in uh Cozumel, which will be there in the morning, then close to my my uh, This is way different than I remember. Yeah. Oh. But anyway, I'll be back if I find something interesting to show y'all. Like I said, I don't do no excursions and stuff like that. But I'll show y'all the ships from this side to get a better view. I show y'all that time about three, four years ago. I dropped, I jumped, I walked off one of these, one of these curves. I had to be very careful, and I really must mess my knee up. And I was pretty much hobbled the rest of the cruise. What happened right in here, y'all? I'm gonna walk up in here and let me show y'all. You got the people here swimming with the dolphins. And I said, I gotta really watch where I'm walking. So, anyway, you gotta swim. I think swim with the dolphins up in there. Y'all see the cruise ship over there? And then the Carnival Breeze, our little ship is behind the Norwegian ship. Then you got the Carnival Jubilee right there. And like I said, you got a little free beach up here that you can go to. I say it's free. You probably got to pay to go up in there. You do. I'm going to walk up in here anyway and show y'all people. Got a little uh, swim-up bar there. Look how pretty that water is out there. So, anyway, we'll be back, y'all. All right, y'all. You got people here about to swim with dolphins. Y'all know I don't get into a thing with animals because they are animals. At the end of the day, they're animals, and you don't know what they're thinking. So I don't play around with that, but I'm going to show y'all here. Uh, when they get in there, they're going to be in there with them dolphins, and we're going to see what happens. Maybe one of them will turn off around and bite them. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. Y'all see them in there with them dolphins. Like I said, I don't get in the water. I don't play with animals because at the end of the day, they're animals. And you don't know when them animals are going to get pissed off and say, enough is enough. But they in there with, you can see over there, swimming around in there. Just give me y'all a little, a little synopsis right there. There we go, y'all see that? But anyway, y'all, we'll be back see what else we can get into. All right, y'all. Let me show y'all what I got here. Hold on. Just a second here. Let me take it out of the bag. Y'all already know. I ain't got one of these, y'all. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Look at this. Look at this here. Look at this in here, y'all. You know me. I love my cowboys. You know I got to have my cowboy. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's me, ain't it? That's me, ain't it? I'll be, I'll, I'm going to show that, I'm going to put that on Instagram in a minute, so anyway y'all, we'll be back. 
Hi y'all, we are leaving Costa Maya. See you in, in a few months. I'll be back. Look at how Norwegian Joy, how big that ship is compared to our little Carnival Breeze. And the Carnival Jubilee is no joke itself. They building the Carnival ships bigger. Look how beautiful this water is, y'all. Beautiful in blue. But anyway, I got me a hat here. And I didn't spend much money here at this port. Like I say, it's so small. I'm going to wait to Cozumel tomorrow. And uh, spend a little bit of money over there with the residents over there. So anyway, y'all, we'll be back. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go give me an old people nap. And wake up for dinner tonight. Pretty much. That's pretty much it. I'll go get me another guy's burger. But I don't know. So anyway, y'all, we'll be back. All right, y'all. It is check-in time for dinner. And I just checked in. I'm eating right at 530 today, y'all. Because uh, I got a lot of things I need to see tonight on my agenda. A lot of things I'm going to see on my agenda tonight. But let me let y'all know what I'm going to order here. I'm going to order the barbecue beef spring roll. I'm going to get the entree. They got fried chicken in there, but I don't want no fried chicken. But I know they don't know about no fried chicken. I'm going to get the spaghetti carbonara for entree and dessert, banana cream pie. So that's what I'm going to order. I'm letting y'all know already. I already looked at the menu. So anyway, headed to the restaurant. I'll be back once I get inside. Look at this, y'all. Here. I'm here early. I love it. I got the restaurant to myself where I can really record and don't have to be awkward. So why I did it early. I said, let me do early. And then a lot of people are still out. So they're not going to be really, really busy tonight. A lot of people are still out on Costa Maya doing their excursions and stuff. So they don't have to be back till 730 on the ship. So usually this restaurant is packed. But look at it right now. There's nobody in here. And that my food shouldn't take long to get here. I absolutely love it. That's what I love, y'all. So. Anyway, I already told y'all what I was going to eat. I'll let you know when the first item come. We'll be back. All right, y'all. We are back here. Got the beef spring rolls here. Got my bread here and butter. Uh, we're going to see how they see us here. Beef spring rolls. That's something I never had. I've had spring rolls. I've had vegetable spring rolls, chicken spring rolls, shrimp spring rolls. Never beef spring rolls. Y'all kind of, the lighting is here is kind of awkward, y'all. So kind of look over that. But... Anyway, I'll let you know once I finish this and the second course comes. So we'll be back. Y'all, look at this. This was the most, um, one of the most amazing things I've ever eaten in a while. Y'all know I've eaten at some of the finest restaurants in Las Vegas. This was amazing. I'm going to explain to you after the dinner in detail about this particular dish. But... And you see, I ate both of them. I wish I had another one. It was that good. But I'm going to explain to you in detail about it. Yes, I'm done. Thank you. Uh, but anyway, I'll be back in the next fourth time. All right, y'all, we're back. Forget to call my Very yeah. simplistic. Nothing fancy here. But it's all about the taste. I'm going to see if it has enough salt and pepper. If I have to add it, I don't know. But I want something very simple. Nothing overbearing for dinner or the entree. But it's all about the appetizer right now. It was absolutely amazing. So, anyway, I'll be back once I finish this course. All right, y'all. We're here for dessert. I'm going to clean time. Look at that. 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 So, I uh, will be back. Once I finish this banana cream pie, I'll give you my, uh, when I get out of here, my opinion of this meal. So, we'll be back. Hey, y'all, let me give you a synopsis while I'm going to the other side of the ship. Uh, dinner was amazing. Everything from the, let me tell you about the appetizer. It was a barbecue spring roll. I need to go to this barbecue place tomorrow. Pig and Anchor is horrible barbecue, but I got to show y'all on this ship. That's why I never mentioned it. It's called Pig and Anchor, but that's for tomorrow. With the barbecue spring roll. Absolutely amazing. One of the best things I've ever tasted in my life here recently. Um, it was a spring roll wrapped the most tenderest flavorful meat and then it had a honey barbecue 
dipping sauce. It was absolutely amazing, y'all. Like I say, I'm gonna have to recreate it. It's a casino here while I'm walking through. Y'all know I don't play, I don't gamble. So I don't do with the casino, but um but back to what I was saying. The uh spaghetti carbonara was good too. It wasn't to me I just took a little bit more sauce, but it was all right. And the banana cream pie was good. Uh the crust was was surprisingly crispy. The crust was good. I was surprised with the crust on there too. So it's the club here, y'all. It's the club in there. Uh but anyway, I'm going and uh put my phone on the charger and try to walk around here a little bit. And I got a lot of things uh, adult places to go tonight. I'm gonna take y'all with me. So anyway, we'll be back. N I N E I that's your final answer. Nine is correct! Yeah. Who runs the world? Yeah. Who runs the world? Yeah. Who runs the world? Yeah. Yeah. Who runs the world? Yeah. 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 Justin Bieber, excellent job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, blue team is back to us. Y'all know we ahead already, so let's make this tight. Here we go. Next question. <clears throat> Listen closely. What sport drink was developed in 1967 by the University of Florida? What sports drink was developed in 1967 by the University of Florida? Tell the team.